Christian's going to join the show. Christian, what's up, man? What's up, man? It's good to see you, man. Yeah. Kyle Henderson, Bama Football Christian on YouTube. Miller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Christian Miller, man. Here. What's up, man? Oh, appreciate it. We're on live right now. Okay, how y'all doing? What's up, Look, man? Christian Miller, Christian former Miller. Alabama. There you go. Look, you got, he has his own show, okay, on YouTube. It's called The Miller's right. Edge. You need to subscribe to his show. Um, Appreciate Look, that. I, I know you do your own thing, and I know you get, you know, you talk to, um, what is your current role here? So, I, I mean, I, I do a lot of different stuff. I, uh, I do the sideline report with the mm -hmm. football team. Uh, I got my show, like you mentioned. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it. I work with the Crimson Tide Sports Network, yeah, yeah. but they let former players work out and do all that good stuff, so I'm, I'm always around. So I have to ask you, the I mean, people thought that Bama was just going to fall off when Coach Saban left, but the foundation mm. is so solidified here. It's been amazing to see how much momentum Coach Kalen DeBoer has. Can you talk about some of that? Yeah, man, I, I think he's doing a really good job. You know, he hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously, you know, I, I was a fan of, you know, him winning everywhere that he's been, mm -hmm. but uh, we do know the SEC is a whole different animal. Mm -hmm. And right. so it's going to be his biggest challenge yet. Yeah. Uh, but I think he was the best candidate for the job. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... It's almost impossible to replace a guy like Coach Saban, but right. um, so far, man, I like what I've seen, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I've gotten to speaking, uh, got to spoke to him several times and a uh, very respectable guy. Uh, he, he means well and he's very eager to get in here and do the right thing. So um, I'm, I'm pleased with what he's done so far, man. He's doing a really good job. And, and not only him, like his coaching staff, because right, we've had right. the opportunity to speak to a couple guys like Mo Linquist. Like these mm -hmm. guys are bringing the absolute fire. Wait, have you seen that same type of energy? Yeah, yeah, practice, man. I'm about to go stand out there for a little bit now, but mm -hmm. it's it's been high intensity. It's a little yeah. bit different because mm -hmm. in one way, it's a little more relaxed. You know, you got music and yeah, they're, yeah. they're a lot more, uh, you know, personable with the guys, but at the same time, you know, it, it's definitely high energy, a lot mm -hmm. of passion with this coaching staff. So um, definitely a lot to be excited for. You know, biggest thing is uh, seeing how they're able to develop these players. Right, Obviously, right. you got a lot of talent. So mm -hmm. um, it's just a matter of getting these guys in the right position to make plays. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what they, they say, you know, they, they want to uh, adapt to the guys that they have. We've heard Coach DeBoer talk about that. Mm -hmm. So as long as they do that, man, I, I think we'll be in good hands. There's a lot of people kind of curious about how recruiting would go. I right. feel like that's been Boom. going strong. I so, you about that. Yeah, I feel yeah. like that's been going well so far. Just got to continue that, uh, that momentum that we've got there. But ultimately, we, you guys know this, you know, Alabama is all about winning. Winning, yes. yes. And, yeah. uh, you know, everything looks good now. You yeah. know, hopefully they continue yeah. that, which I, I expect them yeah. uh, to do. But to be fair, you know, you got a, you got a tough schedule this year. So yeah. I think you got to also be realistic, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, even with Coach Saban being here this season, I think it would have been pretty realistic to expect maybe a loss, maybe yeah. two, maybe or just two. to, you know, Next. point it out there. Yeah. You know, you got Georgia, you go on the road, Wisconsin early mm -hmm. on. Tennessee, um, Tennessee, to Tennessee on the road, yeah, LSU yeah. on the road. Uh, but with that being said, man, everything that I've seen so far from this mm -hmm. staff and this group, man, has been has been positive from my experience. And uh, I'm rooting for them, I'm pulling, them yeah. for, I'm pulling right. for them, and I'm expecting big things this upcoming season. Real quick, before you go, mm -hmm. Kane Womack and this staff recruiting you, what, what position you at in this new 425 scheme? Uh, I'd say the Husky because yeah. it's, it's real similar to the, the Jack position. Okay, a little bit more into the frame right there. Yeah, and, I, and I'll say this. I mean, a lot of people, they – they hear 425 and they think it's something totally brand it's new, not. but it's it's really not. I mean, right. we've been running a 425, but all that is is our nickel defense, yep. mm. meaning five DBs, two linebackers, mm -hmm. four down linemen. Mm. And so realistically, the past three or four years, we've been in the nickel front 90% of the time, yes. if not 95. Mm -hmm. right. I was here 14 through 18. We probably played base. I was a Sam linebacker mm -hmm. uh, in our base package. I mean, Probably maybe there's three opponents maybe I can think of. Texas A&M, LSU, Auburn when they went jumbo sets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe one other team you'd really play base. Other than that, we're always playing nickel. Right. Mm -hmm. With that being said, um, I would be in that Husky role. But uh, really with this defense, man, personnel-wise, it's going to look very similar. The biggest difference is you'll see in the back end, their, their integrity is with their safeties. Yeah, yeah. They, they mm -hmm. do a lot of middle. middle yep. Yeah, you know, single high safety versus two high safety. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of pattern match matching. They do a lot of just true zone drops. You know, keying the quarterback, reading, reacting, yeah. um, definitely can be a lot more. It can produce more, you know, takeaways, turnovers. Right. Um, but you can also a, yeah, I was about too. to say yep. some, sometimes it can, it can leave you a little vulnerable. Yep. You know, if, if you're not reacting quick enough or you're leaving openings, sometimes teams can try to pick you apart. Yep. So there's pros and cons to everything. Just like there's pros and cons to mm -hmm. our pattern match system with co uh, Cover Seven and Coach Seven. Yeah. Uh, but with that being said, you know, that's going to be the biggest difference you'll see is really with the, the, the coverage yeah. and the back end with this defense. Yeah. Um, but other than that, man, you know, I'm excited. I, I think Coach Womack's going to do a good job, man. Right. He's got a lot of good players yep. to play with, 
lot of youth in that secondary, mm -hmm. but a lot of talent. Yeah, and you guys have probably seen that. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I've definitely seen that. They've got a lot of a lot of young guys in that secondary, but th they've got some really good players. So just a matter of developing them, yeah, getting yeah, them ready yeah. to play. Yeah. Well, as you guys remember, Christian Miller. All right. So <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. It's called Miller's Edge. Yes, sir. Uh, follow him. Subscribe to his channel. I remember, man, you know what? So I have to say before you go, man, Yeah. I remember you lining up here because I've been covering the team now for eight years. People just starting to like find That's out about up. me. Uh, even though our YouTube yeah, channel I've has 105,000 subscribers. I was about to say, you know, I've seen you guys before, man. Yeah. Uh, but you and Terrell Lewis. Oh, yeah. Man, that was like one of my favorite combos. Yeah, gotta, man, he's man, a dog, Can I get man. a reach? No, but to, no, Terrell, who <laughs> had a longer wingspan? You were Terrell Lewis. Uh, that's a good question. I had to look at the Terrell numbers. Lewis was, yeah. he was... He was a little bit taller than me. He definitely yeah. had just as much length as and, wingspan, and, if and not more. you guys were so athletic yeah. in terms of, like, what you guys are bringing, man. I remember that. That was a... Yeah, man, well, it was funny because when I first got recruited here mm -hmm. in 2014, the whole linebacker, outside linebacker room was, you know, Denzel DeVall, Xavier yeah. Dixon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ryan Anderson, these mm -hmm. guys are all 250, 260 yeah. plus. And so when Coach Saban was recruiting me and Rashawn Evans, mm -hmm. it was one of those things where it was like, you know, we weren't, we're trying to go in a different direction, mm -hmm. you know, moving forward because, yeah. you know, they're playing Johnny Menzel, yeah. Texas A&M, and it yeah. was you're starting to see, <laughs> you, you know, the, the spread. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yes. when we got here, we are like 205, 215. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, there's no way y'all playing linebacker. Mm -hmm. But it was just a testament to the evolution and Coach Saban's ability to adapt yes. uh, to the new age of college football. Yep. So that that being said, we, we've slowly seen that. But guys like Terrell Lewis, yep. uh, you know, Jamie Mosley was my roommate here, yep. another he long guy, him. lengthy guy. He's yeah, on yep. staff he here. He's like a wide receiver now. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. There's yeah. a lot more length in college football. You have to. you got to have more speed, length, mm -hmm. and athleticism. But, um, yeah, man, that's, and that's what you're seeing out of the group of guys that they have now. Mm -hmm. they, and that's what I'm noticing that the players have been recruiting. There's a lot of good athletes. They mm -hmm. play multiple positions. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's what these guys want. This new staff, they want guys that can play all over, mm -hmm. find the right position for them, and mm -hmm. see where they, they're, they're best fit to, to contribute to this football yeah. team. Well, we, we love having you here, man. Thanks for coming. Appreciate rolling that. Through. No doubt. I was about to say, I feel bad. I took you all set for no, about 10 good, minutes man. now, no, man. No, but I, we, we love might, the date. We, we might need to link you up. <laughs> and have you on one night. For real. So, yeah, well, so. I appreciate it. Yeah, I was about to say, man, thank you guys for having me real quick. Like I said, I'm just walking in. about to probably work out, watch practice for a little bit. But uh, like uh, Kyle said, yep. you know, if uh, you guys want to check us out, The Miller's Edge on YouTube is me and my dad. He's pretty funny. Just be be aware. He's he's very straightforward with his opinion, but it's all good. It's that always roll tide. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, they know honest. me. Me and me and Mr. Corden had a couple of interactions. Oh, well there, well, there you go. Well, then you definitely. Hey, know, I smoked a, Coach, I smoked a cigar know, with your dad before too. Really? Of course. I think he might. Uh, yeah. uh, was it R and R? In, in, in Atlanta, though. Oh, never mind. No, okay. it was in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. it was, it, I posted up, and so they needed a. Uh, they needed a, a cigar lighter, and I smoked cigars, so I rolled through, and I was oh, like, man, I got you. that was his yeah. thing for sure. He had to cut back on it with his help, but he definitely yeah, is yeah. a big cigar guy. But no, I yeah. appreciate you guys having you me. Man. I'll let you guys get back to it. Yeah, appreciate right. you, man. Appreciate you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this one of the good ones, man. We're, we're not, we're not running back. That's a fun one. That's why I play defense. <laughs> appreciate you, man. Hey, appreciate right. you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Y'all be easy. All right, take it easy, man. Take it easy, man. Christian Miller, y'all. Yo. That's crazy. Y'all don't understand. I'm. It took everything in me now. I just be like, yo, let's race. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we, we fumbled. We the, fumbled. But not the interview. Just the microphone. Yeah, that's it. But Bama football on YouTube. This is, I mean, you going to get that anywhere else? No. I, just, I mean, oh, but back back to practice. DBs, we was talking no, no, about no, DBs. No, 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 no. We were talking about recruiting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. Uh, dang, he done made me lose my train. So listen, uh, <laughs> Abdullah Sanders yeah. was one. That was the big one. Linebacker. From LA. For, and, and modern day. Y'all know what type of product comes out of modern day? Bryce Young. And think about this. There's a running back. And we talked about this earlier. There's a running back. But they can't hear me. I'm telling you, there's a running back at modern day right now. With his teammate committing, do not be surprised if we get that flip. Do not be surprised if we get that flip. I'm telling you, do not be surprised. These, these kids are really buying into... Whatever the message is, Kyle, I don't know what it is. You know what? Look, the thing was, as I just mentioned with Christian Miller, people thought that this program would just flop over and die, that this place would just kind of crumble and melt when Coach Saban left. That's not the case. The foundation is so strong here. But added to that, Coach Kalen DeBoer, a lot of this is on his own merit and his own personality, on his own recruiting philosophy and within his assistant coaches. You guys saw the mic'd up stuff with Coach Shepard. I mean, that guy brings so much intensity. So does Coach Kane Womack, um, Maurice Lindquist. I mean, these guys have a, a – this is a new regime. Everything th – this is different. It's a different feel here. And, but that's not a bad thing. And that's not to say what Coach Saban had wasn't a good thing. There, the, people do great things in different ways. Um, 
recruiting makes people happy. Um, this is the honeymoon phase for right now, right? You got you. Ultimately, you have to win, yeah. right? But if you win recruiting-wise, it makes people happy. Landing a four-star today is a big deal, okay, from the class of 2025. All right, so the last thing that we'll touch on before we put a lid on this, because we got Coach Kalen DeBoer, which we're going to be streaming right here on Bama Football on YouTube. We appreciate you guys more than you know, is the fact that um, Kane Proctor is coming back to Alabama. Okay, now, I don't think that Coach Kalen DeBoer can comment on that today, and I'm sure there might be a really – smart reporter that might ask a question kind of around that, but don't be expected for a coach Kalen DeBoer to have some sort of um, statement today or, or make comments specifically about Caden Proctor. And also, um, you have the basketball team playing tomorrow, and it looks like Nick Pringle is going to be on board uh, tomorrow uh, with the basketball team. So uh, we will keep you posted, but uh, I'll let Smook hit on the DBs. We are streaming coach Kalen DeBoer's um, Press conference. They told us to be back in by 4, 5.45. Um, that probably means 6.30, so I'm going to probably even go charge my phone for a little bit. Um, I threw my jacket over there, up in yeah, the air. That, I was going he's going to he's <laughs> <laughs> Coach Smook is going <laughs> to Coach Smook is going to take you home with the DBs, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. We appreciate you guys. Run the thumbs up. Run the thumbs up, baby. <laughs> Y'all know Kyle. Run the thumbs up on the video. Y'all, this, uh, this is different.